Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite developer. I've been learning how to code on the Ethereum blockchain now for about a week. This is the exact opposite of JavaScript or web development. When it comes to JavaScript or web development or Python, there is an ocean of information out there, but <laughs> with blockchain development, I haven't been as fortunate. There is some, but definitely not a lot. And you know, I'm not experienced enough to tell you what's good, what's bad, but I can tell you what I'm using and then show you my results. So this video is gonna be light on the results side because it is the first week, but I just wanna show you guys the tools that I'm using to learn blockchain development and give you guys a good place to get started if you're interested in Ethereum blockchain development like myself. So the first thing I did after Googling for about an hour and looking at all the beginner sources out there for coding on the Ethereum blockchain was hop over to Udemy. And I found this really good Udemy course. It had really good reviews, had a lot of reviews, high stars, and it's called Ethereum Blockchain Developer Bootcamp with Solidity. I should put it on the screen here somewhere. Also, I will have a link to it down below. But I started this course and I've been kind of going through it. This course has you work with the Remix IDE, which allows you to code smart contracts and it gives you like a little interface you can use to play with the smart contracts once you make it. So you can both write the smart contract and then interact with the smart contract all within the same IDE on the same browser page. Remix is really cool, really cool. I've also started working with Ganoush as a test environment. It gives you a bunch of Ethereum accounts with 100 Ether in them each. So you can experiment with moving Ether between contracts and you know, what you're doing with the Ether in real time. And then also MetaMask. MetaMask allows you to access your Ethereum wallets and you can send Ether from your MetaMask to other wallets and receive Ether to your MetaMask. And it also allows you to sign in with your wallet to other websites. There's a, like an auction house website called OpenSea where people sell a lot of NFTs and stuff. And you sign into it through MetaMask by using your wallet. So it's really cool stuff. Blockchain is crazy to me. I'm a total newbie in the space. So excuse my lack of uh, clarification, but it's really cool how it all interacts together. I really like, it. it's just so different from just JavaScript. To familiarize myself in the space, I did a couple things. <laughs> I made some NFTs. I made two types of NFTs. I made one called Gloot, which is like um, game loot, video game loot. And then I made another one called Black Approval Cards. You know, your black card. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody has bought the black cards, but I think two Gloots have sold. If you guys are curious as to what Glute or my black cards are, I'll have a link to them below and you guys can go check them out and maybe um, see what all the fuss is about in the NFT world. And it goes without saying that I also bought some Ether. So if this is the ecosystem I wanna learn, I gotta invest myself in it. I'm still a real newbie in the space. So I'm trying to learn and immerse myself as much as I can and um, We'll see where we go from here. I have written a few contracts in Remix. It's nothing serious. It's me getting comfortable with the language, Solidity, learning what you can and can't do. Solidity is very, very different from JavaScript. Anybody that said they're similar, I don't see the similarities yet. Not at all. From what I see, Solidity looks and works more like Java than JavaScript, but what do I know? You know, I'm not, I'm not an expert with Solidity yet. But it's not too complicated to learn. I do have to get used to declaring the type of variable. Like JavaScript was my first language. It's like my only language really so far. So I, I never declared any type of variable. <laughs> so it comes with its own struggles. But all in all, it's a pretty straightforward language to learn. Nothing too crazy. It's only the first week, so I don't have too much to show yet but I will keep you guys updated with this little mini series. And don't worry, I'm still gonna be making web developer based content, but some of my free time is going towards learning blockchain development and just that'd be something really cool to document. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in blockchain development or the blockchain development series. I'm interested to hear, get some feedback on that. And as always, the link to the community discord is down below. I set up a blockchain development channel in there. I just wanna try to bounce some ideas with people, share some sources for anybody else interested in getting into the space. And yeah, we'll start a conversation. That's gonna do it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. Peace.